What is going on everybody? It's the Benja back with another video and today we are attempting one of Minecraft's hardest challenges But before we get into today's video, I need to share something You know my channel has been feeling very alone lately and if you would subscribe it would really help out Anyway, let's get into the challenge This challenge has never been attempted before Except for this guy, but he doesn't count. So here are the rules. The first item I pick up has to be a stick. Tools are unacceptable. No pickaxe to mine, no sword to kill stuff. I have to use a stick. Beds and TNT are not allowed. Water buckets, shields, and armor are the only exceptions. Let's do this. World name, I can't really go with new world. I want it to be something creative. Let's do S T I nice. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. We're going to have it set to survival mode. I don't think I'm going to change the difficulty more world options. Let's let's keep it let's make it an interesting seed. Yes, that will be perfect. Now that I've loaded into my world, the first thing I need to do is find a stick. The best way to find a stick is to break leaves. When you break leaves, you got a 2% chance to get a stick from it. And because I need a stick right away, I'm going to need to break a lot of leaves before I can even mine wood. There we go. I only need one. Once I got my stick, I was able to start collecting wood so I could continue on my journey. But as I'm collecting wood, I'd like to explain the logic behind this challenge. As tools and weapons get stronger, their durability also becomes stronger. Therefore, since a stick has infinite durability, it is the most powerful weapon in the game. I decided I was going to need a lot of armor, so I decided to look for shipwrecks and buried treasure to get stacked really quickly because I wouldn't be able to mine ores with a normal pickaxe. Oh, what's this? This is good. In it, so should be easy. Diamond! Ah! After my first couple chests, I decided to grab some melons from this not too far rainforest. The fun begins. Meanwhile, I also have a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna create my bucket, my shield, and then I was back to mining melons. I killed an Enderman, and I was on my way. Using a village, I was able to collect hay bales, and then I found this chest. Obby, that's pretty good. Red for food. Iron chest plate. And this is what I've wanted for my last couple playthroughs and I've never gotten it. This is actually a really good seed. After a couple more chests. We're rich, we're rich. The luckiest find ever is here. We're rich. I prepared for the nether. There we go. Using the gold I had found in the treasure chest, I decided to trade with piglins in a bastion. After I had received some ender pearls and potions, I started killing blazes for blaze rods at a nether fortress.
After getting the eight blaze rods that I wanted, I decided to head to a warped forest to kill some endermen for ender pearls. Side note, it takes forever to kill these guys. So here's a killing endermen montage. After killing about 20 Endermen, I finally went back up to the overworld. I grabbed my noble steed in search of the stronghold. Once I found the spot, I started digging. Now this was probably my least favorite part of the run, because it took forever to mine with a stick. So here's another montage for you. After digging for about 40 minutes, I realized that I had dug a hole in the wrong place. So I headed back up and started to dig a new hole. I broke up with my ex-girl. Here's a number. Psych! That's the wrong number! After that near-death experience, I mined a little bit more and found the stronghold. I just want to get this over with. After entering the nether, my first objective was to take out the towers. We're going to start with the small one and work our way up. Now meet the enderman that nearly crushed my dreams. After that near-death experience, I decided to finish off the Ender Dragon.
With all the pillars down, I could finally start chipping away at the dragon's health. One more. Boom! Let's go! Oh gosh. What a way to beat the Ender Dragon, getting chased by a freaking Enderman. Cool. Well, I think there's only one thing left to do. Just a simple memorial. Well, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If this video hits 30 likes, then I'll do it again in hardcore mode. That being said, I'm out. Peace!